This is Sandy Newell, tech service rep for BASF in the Southeast. I have Dr. Bob Kimmerite with me on the phone today. He's the extension plant pathologist for the University of Georgia with responsibilities for cotton, peanuts, corn, and soybeans. And thank you for joining us, Dr. Kimmerite. I'm hoping you can give us a quick update on particularly the disease situation in cotton. I appreciate this opportunity once again to speak with you, Sandy, and I'm glad anything to spread the information about diseases in our crops. We've been uh, talking specifically about cotton with you earlier, and it's fitting for today. We've had the kind of weather. We've had a lot of storms roll through the southeast. I've been chased by storms all day today here in south Georgia. Temperatures are supposed to be back up into the 90s by the end of the week. It's just absolutely perfect weather for disease and a good opportunity for growers to be proactive or and nothing else to be timely with their fungicide applications. We've seen, I've been out with my graduate student today looking in cotton. I've never seen so much target spot so early in some of the fields we were looking in and some of our research plots. Certainly this kind of weather is absolutely perfect for target spot. When we talk about the kind of wet, warm, extended leaf periods as well. So weather's here, the crop is developing. It's uh, crucial that growers are aggressive with their fungicide programs. So, well, Dr. Kim Wright, you mentioned target spot on cotton. I assume you're in the southwest part of the state. Have you heard of any target spot over in the eastern side of Georgia? I haven't heard yet. We're just starting to get reports on where the target spot is. We've heard now Decatur County, Colquitt County, Mitchell County. I think anywhere where we've got good cotton in the southwest, certainly. But there's no difference, really, between the southwest and the southeast part of the state. I'm expecting that where we've got good growth cotton, the same moist conditions and warm temperatures probably fueling it in that area as well. So I don't have reports yet as of today. They're just starting to come in, but I would be surprised if we don't have it. And even if we're not finding it, now is the time growers need to be making some important management decisions. The crop is starting to bloom. The weather's favorable. What are we going to do about a disease like target spot to be proactive? So with growers that have suffered a drought the last several years and may have seen some target spot in their fields, but it never came to a point where it needed to be treated. Can you give these growers some idea of what to look for in their cotton fields and what to expect? Well, I think that's a very good question, and just because a grower has not had a problem in the past doesn't mean that one won't develop very quickly. Uh, target spot is a very explosive disease, and so it's critically important for growers to know what to look for, Sandy, when they're looking for target spot. And what I recommend growers to do is to look in the bottom of the canopy and some of the heavier growth. And we typically find small spots developing, and typically they enlarge very quickly into target shape or target-like lesions, starting in the bottom where we have extended leaf wetness periods. Well, thank you, Dr. Kim Wright. Appreciate very much the information, and uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to talk soon. All right. Thank you for the opportunity, and I appreciate BASF's interest in the grower community.